My name is Andrea Stewart. I'm Alexa Rainwright. My name is Salini Amawat. I'm Rona Nadler. I'm the harpsichordist with Infusion Baroque. I play the cello and the viola da gamba. I am the Baroque violinist. And I play Baroque flute and recorder for Infusion Baroque. Infusion Baroque is a quartet of four musicians based in Montreal who are dedicated to pushing the boundaries of early music through the very beginning of the Baroque era all the way through early Romantic times. A common goal in our music making is to explore the repertoire of several hundred years ago, but to always try to find another layer, another way to relate to the music. So sometimes that would be stories, sometimes that would be other artistic media, but some way to allow us in our modern time to relate to these lives of these people, which was totally different in some ways than our lives. We were in the middle of a tour uh, outside of Canada how do I say this politely? We ran into some ideas and ideology that were a few decades behind where Montreal was. And there were many people who were surprised that we were a quartet of women. And many people remarked that we were a quartet of only women. And everywhere we heard, we were only women. And um, we were driving to the next concert and we were all in the minivan and we just started talking about how tired we were of hearing that we were only women. <laughs> Suddenly, that was our identity, was woman, rather than being musicians, specialists, cellists, teachers, researchers. We are women specialists, women researchers, women cellist, woman musician. And we thought, perhaps we need to work more on this. Perhaps we need to do something to bring to light how many women in the past were reduced to only women and not of these other qualities that they had when other people could just be who they wanted to be. And so I remember that we uh, decided to come up with the idea for a concert of a program of all music by women composers. We really enjoyed that concert and we found also that we had too much material that we wanted to explore and play for just one concert. So we ended up creating a whole season, which was the Virtuosa season. From that season of three concerts, we chose our favorite pieces and made an album. And, uh, we had too many favorite pieces, so we actually had to do a double album. <laughs> Over the past several years working on the Virtuosa project, the thing that I take away after this work is just an immense sense of gratitude to these historical women that lived many hundreds of years ago uh, and who despite facing so many challenges from society, perhaps some of them didn't have the same amount of opportunity or access as their male colleagues did. Despite all of that, they were able to still pursue careers as performers, as composers, and they were successful and they were recognized for it. As a woman today, uh, there's a lot that we still have to overcome, but at the same time, there's so much privilege that we have as well. And I think learning about the, the experiences of these historical virtuosas has really put all of that into perspective for me.